Chris Lovell here with uh, special teams coach Darren Cheverini from Double T1043, Double T1043.com. Now, tell me how you ended up here. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a funny story. Um, one of my best friends, a guy I worked with at UCLA named David Rye. You guys know David. Yep. He's with the Packers now. So, uh, David had actually called me, and, go, and this is right when Coach Kingsbury got the job, and he got hired here. And, and then, as he got to know Coach Kingsbury a little bit, you know, he had talked to him, Coach about me, and, and we kind of knew each other, Coach Kingsbury and I, but we weren't. We weren't really friends because we didn't, you know, we played around the same time. You know, I played at Colorado and obviously he played down here. And so, you know, uh, David called me and goes, Hey, I think you and, you know, Coach Kingsbury would, you know, get along and like each other. So you should come, you know, come down. So I came and worked at camp last year. Worked at camp, uh, got to know Coach a little bit. I was only here for about three days and then I went back to Riverside and I was coaching. And then um, when, you get, when they went to the Holiday Bowl last year, uh, Coach had texted me and said, Hey, come, why don't you come down and hang out for a little bit? And I didn't know they were looking for a special teams coordinator at the time. So I was, you know, obviously a couple of my former players, you know, Will Smith and Sadell Foster and Bruce Jones played for me at Riverside. I, I recruited all those kids out of high school. Um, so I had a kind of a connection as far as watching those guys play. So I went down to the bowl game, got a chance to visit with Coach, and he, you know, let me know you wanted to interview me for the job. And uh, end up flying down here the next week after the bowl game. And then, you know, the rest is history, you know. How'd you end up being a, because you, you played receiver in mm -hmm. college and NFL and all that stuff. How'd you end up being like a special teams guy? Well, I mean, I've, if you, my, if like my, my background's really been offensive football. You know, you know, I was a co-offensive coordinator at Riverside, but I also ran the special teams too. Um, I actually kind of fell into it with a coach that used to in 09, uh, worked for a guy named Frank Gans Jr., who I think is one of the best football coaches in America, and uh, got a chance to learn the details. I played special teams in college. I played in the National Football League. I played all those positions that I'm coaching now. Um, but it was great to get with a guy like Frank Gans, who just had so much knowledge, and I got a chance to just be a sponge around him in, in 2009. And you know, we've had a lot of success, you know, going forward at Riverside, and, and um, you know, it's it's kind of just it's it's worked out, you know, really well. That's why I'm here, you know. So when you get here, from a personnel standpoint, what would what, you think when, when you get around the team and players I, which you have to work with? I was excited, um, you know, going through spring football, and, and you know, we have some veteran guys like Kenny Williams and Bradley Marquez and Brandon Jackson. And, and guys that you know are going to be core special teams guys for us, and uh, also you know watching the freshmen work out this summer. I mean, we've really upgraded our roster with a lot of athleticism, and uh, it's going to definitely help us as far as personnel and how we approach games. So um, definitely excited to see those guys what they can do this this year. You know, different head coaches view special teams differently in that hey, these guys are off limits, or you can always do this right. certain thing. I mean, what what was your conversation with Coach Kingsbury about? What I'm allowed to do. Yeah, he's been great. You know, he, he just said, Chef, look, you, this is your show. You, you know, I want you to, you know, run it the way you want to run it. Um, you know, as far as personnel, you know, you know, you can you can use starters, you can use guys that, that are that are core guys. You know, he wants to make an impact, and I want to make an impact on special teams. And the way to do that is you have to play some of your best players. Um, and uh, he's been great. You know, he comes in my office, he'll ask me questions on certain things, and and he just says, hey, you know. Let's me run it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's rare too. Usually, sometimes when you first get somewhere, that's not always the case, you know. But he's been he's been awesome. He's like, you know, should do, you know, do it, you know, run it. So it's been good. True freshman, you know, if if they if they can help your guys, you know, your groups out, are you gonna play them? Yeah. Okay. I, I I told I told those guys already in our meetings that, you know, we're talking about punt returner. You know, we, you know, Jordan Davis is a guy that did it last year, and and, and you know, he was a little inconsistent. He was up and down, and. Um, you know, I told those young guys like Ian Sadler and Cameron Batson. I said, "Look, the best guy is going to play. It doesn't matter if he's a senior or if, he, if he's a true freshman. Um, you know, I'm going to give those guys an opportunity in camp. I'm going to chart them and see how consistent we are. But you know, the best players are going to play. It doesn't matter if they're true. I don't care if I got five true freshmen out there on kickoff coverage. If they're the best that we got, and they're going to be playing. You're fortunate enough to have, you know, a couple of kick returners. You're fortunate enough to have a nice place kicker. Are those things somewhat settled with with Ryan Buston and then yeah. Reginald and Jakeem? Oh yeah, right. You know, Ryan's our guy. You know, okay. Ryan. You know, he's. Look, I was looking at some of the stats, and he's on track to be the all-time uh, leading kicker in Texas Tech history. I think if he makes like, I, I'm not sure what the number is, but I believe it's under 10 field goals, he'll be the all-time leader. And so, you know, Ryan's had a great career, and, and he's been consistent. And you know, Taylor Samang's got a huge leg, and he's, you know, he's got a chance to be that guy, our punter and, and our kickoff guy. And you know, we got Kramer Fife who, who did kickoffs last year, but we also, you know, got a young guy coming in, Clayton Hatfield's got a huge leg. Um, it, it's, it always feels good when you have guys. I mean, <laughs> you know, you, if you want to be good at something, you better have players that can play. And, uh, you know, we got two veteran guys on kick returns with 
with Reg and, and Jakeem. Have, oh, they're probably one of the only tandem maybe in college football that have both taken them back to the house. So, yeah, it makes you feel good as a coach. Um, so, you know, and we, and we're, we're, we're a veteran in that group, and then we're young in other groups. So it's, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for some of those young guys. But, you know, one thing I tell them all the time is that I've played those positions. Like, I've done what you're trying to do right now. I can teach you how to do it at a high level. And they've been very receptive to the message. I'm going to ask you a non-special teams question. One of the most important positions on, on a team, or a passing team anyway, is left tackle. You happen to know the new one. You can <laughs> help to recruit him here. Dominique Robertson, speak to kind of what Texas Tech has in him. You know, he's a very athletic guy. He's 325 pounds. He's 6'5". Um, very football smart, too. Understands protections. You know, we at Riverside ran, you know, multiple protections, and he's versed as far as that goes. So I think he's gonna, you're going to see a guy that, that's, you know, athletic, you know, like LaRaven, that can move, play in space. And, uh, you know, he's he definitely going to, you know, he definitely helped us upgrade, you know, that position. So, you know, you, we're going to be excited to see him play. Glad you're here, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Absolutely. There he is, Aaron Chivarini.